you know what? That was my last donut. I'm going to work out. I'm doing tour days. I'm gonna get my body right. And I'm on Crenshaw, just past Pico, just past Slauson, and I'm out here to meet with Snoop so I can do another joint venture with Death Row Records. So I'll be officially the first one signed to Bad Boy and Death Row. And we're going to get the Tupac thing rekindled. Let's see where we go with that. Then there's, then there's people that try to do bodily harm with me. They will be in the house with Puff. So I'm like, it's a funny game y'all playing behind the scenes. So when people see me, they just see me turned up. They just see me agitated. They just see me aggressive, but they don't know why. So if somebody, let's just say we run down on Gilly car. We, if we got guns or whatever, where we got them and we trap Gilly. And then the next week you see wallow with me at your house how are you gonna feel yeah i'm snapping out you tweaking right Right. so now my head is bugging like what's really going on because every time something happened to me it's somebody that's with him but this is supposed to be the nigga i'm signed to this is supposed to puff would go out and party and i would be in the studio writing the records and then i just come back and say he will say this is his part or that is his part. But I was a the person there creating it all. Right. And then, I mean, from the lyrical standpoint, yeah. where somebody did a beats and even more money, more problems. I came up with that. I came up with the beat, too. And I said, Stevie, we need to do this beat and do it like this. So just imagine all of these moments that are taken from you, the 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 records the beats, you ain't getting the money, you publishing. ain't getting the publishing, you ain't getting the respect. And I don't think you're like that. No. I so wouldn't. that became really frustrating for me because I'm you say looking. You don't think you like that. What that mean? I don't think you would like that. Like, like for, okay. if a motherfucker <laughs> did you like that, yeah, what the fuck like, story is you listening to? Nigga? And I don't think you like that to be pulling what you put. What did Puff do to piss you the fuck off? How did he do you dirty if he did you dirty? And what is and what is doing dirty if a motherfucker puts you on? Mm. That's really good. Let me take my shades off of that. Um, now, I can say this because it's not something I didn't say to him. Puff, how, how do I want to say this? Me and Puff was like... I felt like I did more than I got credit for, more than I got paid for. You felt or did you do that? Um, Because you said felt like okay, feeling. Okay, let's clear that up then. You saying you feeling that. No, we're going to keep it with, because I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I never got paid what I was worth, and I never got the respect I was worth. So the disdain that I got for Puff is more like, you trying to keep me here, nigga. I'm not here. All my peers. No, I niggas playing around, man. My billionaire son, Kanye, nigga, gave me these right here, man. Look at those, man. Red Octobers, man. I got a billionaire son, man. Stop playing with me, man. Yeezy, man. I got my Yeezy from Yeezy, man. I might make a song right now. You know I talk crazy in my Yeezys. Man, what's wrong? Something on your mind? Ever feel like you run in a race and get to the finish line and look like you never left? So tell me what you're thinking. Eat us all behind. What you mean, bro? I caught pounds from you on the regular. You see what's in this fanny, boy. You see what's in this Gucci fanny, boy. Listen, homie, your face ain't no good out here. That's like giving a dead man a loan. You might have money, you might have money, man. You want me to plug him? Nigga, what's about over? You got two houses in motherfucking Jersey. You got farmer cars. What the fuck you mean it's over, nigga? Baby, we live and we die. 